Hey everyone, welcome back to the range. Got a first for me today. We have some ballistic helmets from Militech to check out. This particular model that you see here is actually a three part system. The lightest one at one pound five ounces is the shell. This is for fragmentation only. If you want level 3A coverage, here is the outer shell. This guy weighs approximately two pounds. And if you really need the protection, this guy right here at another two pounds is a level three rated, once you put this all together, insert. You get a five pound helmet, which makes your head want to go like this, like a bobblehead, because it's heavy. But we're gonna throw some threats at this guy today and see what we can come up with. Here's our fancy dancy helmet holder. His name is Beatrice. We have some clay on the side for trying to measure back face when we get to some of the larger rounds. You got a bolt through his head there. I forgot to mention it's probably about 80 to 85 degrees outside today, so extra warm, a little bit humid, so we're gonna get good velocities out of all of our ammunition. We're gonna probably bounce around on some of these threats, and then once we get done with our like pistol caliber carbine threats such as 5, 7, and 9 millimeter, then we'll step up to the 762 by 39 and the 308 testing. So we actually have two helmets, they're pretty much the similar construction rating. The green one with the outer shells rated at 3A. The tan one that I have on the Beatrice down there is 3A, but it doesn't have an inner shell. We'll take a shot with SB193 first, that is the subsonic 5.7. It's just a 62 grain full metal jacket, then American Eagle TMJ, then SS198. I have no doubt from our prior testing that SS190 will go through level 3A like this, even from the pistol, so we might save that for our level 3 insert. We have our laptop screen and our Pro Kono Pal Digital. Hopefully you can see everything and that we get readings. Velocity 1144, so we are slightly supersonic today. I will rotate my little guy so we get good clean areas. And now our American Eagle TMJ, this is a 40 grain, basically full metal jacket. Velocity 1872. And now SS198, this is a 28 grain OTM with an aluminum core. Twenty-three forty-three. We'll go see what we did and then change up the threats a little bit. Here is our SB one ninety-three. Here is our American Eagle TMJ, and here was our SS one ninety-eight. Does anybody want to take any bets? Look at this guy. Something penetrated. Which one of these three do you think it is? It's not the American Eagle TMJ. It's not the SS-198. It's that SB-193. There is our hole right there. This particular SB-193 is a 62 grain full metal jacket. It's a bi-metal jacket, but that lead density, jacket thickness, in combination of being subsonic allows it to penetrate Kevlar or aramid fibers very well, even rigid ones like these helmets. Interesting. Here is our dimple from the American Eagle TMJ. There are different specifications for allowable back face for helmet testing. This is probably not going to give us anywhere near ideal testing. I just wanted to put it here for the 308 and rifle testing. So we'll just kind of look at it if we get a chance to shoot on this side for the pistol threats. Now we're gonna use some nine millimeter threats that we've used before against armor. We have some L7A1 Hurtenberger. It's a plus P plus really fast 124 grain and some Czech M39B. That has a lead core, but it has a really thick steel jacket. I'll always try to put a picture in picture down below of any cutaways or bullet profile pictures I have. We'll shoot these out of the Glock 19 with the MOS. Have a Holo Sun red dot on there thanks to Naples Guns and Ammo. Matt Mink. Definitely check them out. 
12, 72. I'll go fix my helmet. Helmet fixed, now our M39B. 1239. Here is our L7A1 and our M39B. You'll notice over here is a bullet. It actually penetrated, came through the front, and actually bounced off and started to come backwards. I'll try to show you the inside of the armor there. There is our penetration. There's a nice big bump down there from the L7A1. But interesting. Another one of those firsts, never been seen before. This is a THV 9mm, early 80s, weird, solid brass bullet. It has a really weird nose profile. I'm going to shoot this out of the Glock 19 against this helmet and see what it's going to do. I only have three of these, so I want to use them sparingly, but I'm very interested to see if these live up to the height. Holy sheep shit. 1932 feet per second. Here was our THV. I can't believe the velocity on that thing. Never seen before. What do you guys think? Drop a comment below, pause the video, go do some research, come back 20 minutes later. Hey, no penetration whatsoever in that round. Interesting. I have two of those left. We'll have to try them against maybe a polyethylene plate or something at a later date. But wow. We're gonna step up the barrel length a little bit. We have a 7.72 inch CZ Scorpion Evo. I actually sent the 16 inch back to CMMG. So we'll probably have to get another one on loan or buy one. We have the L7A1, we'll test that. And then we'll test probably some uh, Liberty Civil Defense. I forgot the magazine for the Evo, so I have to fumbly insert it around there. Velocity, 1409. Beatrice is not looking too good down there. Got quite the headache. Here was our L7A1 from the Scorpion. We kind of broke our NVG mount there. But, dun 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 dun, no pass through. Got quite the dimple there, but no pass through. So far this little helmet's holding up to some pretty good speed. Those steel core threats and steel jacket threats are a little too much for this type of material. Now we'll add a little bit of speed. We have some Liberty Civil Defense. This can penetrate certain types of soft Kevlar armor out of the longer barrels. We'll try it out of the Evo, and then afterwards we'll try the Fort Scott Munitions 80 grain solid copper spun out of the Glock. Sorry, I have to fumble around with single loading these rounds. Velocity 23.76. And now our Fort Scott munitions. Like adult, I put two shots way too close to each other. I have enough of the 80 grain solid copper spun that I'll take another shot, but it's kind of uh, pointless to do so because we have a stoppage right here. That's the civil defense. And there is our 80 grain solid copper spun. Now check this out. We penetrated the top of Beatrice here. We came down through this thick piece of lumber and oops, there is our bullet right there in our backstop. 
blog there. That 80 grain solid copper spun is no joke. We'll try on a really good part of the plate helmet to make sure. I keep saying plate. We'll take another shot with the Fort Scott munitions just to make sure we have a fair hit. I'll try to put this in a friendly clean spot this time. Velocity 1329. Here was our Fort Scott munitions. We're far enough away from that L7A1 that this should be a fair hit. And we have a penetration. Here's something cool. It penetrates across Beatrice's head, enters the helmet right here, and travels upward. And there is our bullet. Fort Scott munitions, that pointed copper bullet is no joke, especially at 80 grains. Okay, Beatrice is set up with the new green helmet, all three pieces, so we have a level three equivalent plate. We stuck him back at 45 feet. Hopefully we have everything aligned so we get chronograph readings. Since I know hey, wait, SS-190 penetrated some ballistic helmets in the past that were essentially the same thing as this, I'm gonna see if it will penetrate with the level three insert from the MK-57. Our SS-190 has a steel tip similar to M855, but it's only 31 grains and has an aluminum core. I think my chronograph is off. I don't think I'm going to get a reading, but... Velocity, 22.63, and we did get a reading. Here is our SS-190, right in a good spot there. What? It didn't penetrate. Hey, now. Interesting. Typically in the past when we've tested SS-190 against, you know, rigid aramid fibers or polyethylene, it does a really good job of penetrating. But the insert itself actually stopped it. Impressive. Now we're going to have to try 762 by 39 and M80 ball. Okay, now a true test for the rifle insert for our helmet. 762 by 39 mild steel core, Rockwell hardness of B. We're gonna use our Palmetto State Armory GF3 Sands Magazine because I forgot it. These were right around 2300 feet per second when I tested them earlier today with a different armor panel. Velocity 2267. Uh. Here was our shot right here. We're a little low. That scope that I have on there is for 9mm and 5.7. I didn't really do any adjustments for 762 by 39. But let's see here. Let's peel off the layers. It actually stopped it. it looks like it kind of poked through a little bit. And then here is the second shell. And then I can't peel the third one out very easily. But there is no penetration in that helmet at all. Knocked it off good. Let's try 308 now. That's going to give us maximum amounts of energy on this plate. Our head up here, we have a little bit of a dimple but not too bad. I would have expected more. That does a really good job of keeping the back face down. Again, it is weighing five pounds and only provides you with protection in the front though. And now our final threat for testing today, M80 ball. This is some Poon Sang. This is one of the more hotter M80 ball loads I've tested. A 22 inch TC compass with our Phantom M2 on there. So we can get a little bit extra velocity out of this guy. Velocity 2732 and Beatrice fell off the table. He's drunk. Here was our M80 ball shot right where I wanted it to go. Look at that back face. That's all polyethylene. I wonder if this could actually stop M193 with as thick as this is. 
we have some on the plate or left on this insert that we'll have to test it later. Our strap held on. Look at the dent there. Pushed it in a ways, but, and you can see that it pushed this in quite the crater. But from what Millie Tech has told me that this is actually rated for one shot of 308 and it stopped it. Back face is gonna leave you with a headache and possibly a concussion, maybe a contusion, but it'll stop it. I'd say our first outing testing helmets didn't go too bad. Beatrice probably made out the worst, but these level 3A helmets from Militech seem to do a pretty good job. The level three, probably really special circumstances that you'd want that, especially with the five pound weight. This guy at, at three pounds isn't too bad. It's not really making your head feel like it's a, on a, a bobble. I do probably have a couple more spaces left on this level three insert. If you think we should do a follow-up video with maybe M193 starting out of the SBR, then going up in barrel lengths, definitely let me know. Maybe M855 out of an SBR or shorter, since it did stop SS190. Pretty impressive. I'd like to thank Militech for sending these helmets for us to test. We've been waiting for it to get warmer outside, and now that it's getting warmer, we can do some of these tests. My Patreon supporters, I'll drop that link in the description below. A dollar a month is all I ask, doesn't matter. I post a lot of stuff over there, sometimes weeks in advance to posting them live on YouTube. And you all for watching. Until next time, catch you at the range. holes in it. This guy weighs 1.5 ounces. No. 1.5 ounces. Oh. 1 pound 5 ounces. Okay. Typically with that aluminum core and the sealed tip, 